Hello, everybody. It's Christine here for another episode of my show. Today, I am super excited to have a sweet, uh, inspiring, just heart-centered guy who has done so many things in his life on um, the, today's episode. Um, so I want to get started, but before we dive into our conversation, I want to introduce him to you. So his name is Rico Cavalea, and some fun facts about him. His chronological age is 78, which you would never guess, but his fitness age is 35. I love that. <laughs> and he is America's healthy aging trainer. And for sure, this is a fact. He's also the creator of a lot of amazing health-related products and uh courses and work called the Aegis Living Lifestyle, the Vitality for Life <clears throat> Training System. I love this one. The Be Bold, Never Be Old Wellness Club. I think I need to raise my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and the Fearless Aging Podcast. Um, and I've been on his podcast and he does amazing work there. He's a speaker and author, get this, 29 books and DVD programs. And he's also a personal trainer, no surprise there, and a health coach for 37 years. He's a multi-gold and silver medalist in the California State Senior Olympics. Awesome, awesome resume there. And I know that's probably just scratching the surface. So Rico, thank you for being here today. <laughs> uh, thank you, Christine. It's so pleasure to be here. And that was a great introduction. Thank you for that. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> So we had a chat before uh, as we were planning our, our time here together today and one of the things we landed on that spoke to both of us was this topic of what we should have learned from the chaotic challenging times of the last 12 months. And so I'd like to start by diving into that topic, getting your thoughts on that and then I've got some questions I want to weave in because I'm all about following your calling and I know those two link together. So what, where would you like to start? What were some of those key things that you think we all should have learned by now? Yeah, yeah, thank you for that. Well, absolutely. You know, I actually just wrote an article too. I don't know if you saw it, but it, it, it was called, we can either dramatize the darkness or we can uh, uh, kindle the light, you know? So, so we can keep on talking about how bad things are and. Why did this happen and what all this? Or we can say, well, okay, let's obviously this is something that we need to address and we, we need to work on what, what the solutions are. And I think a good starting point to, you know, for our listeners is to, just to realize that one of the universal laws is, is, is cause and effect, right? There's no uh, uh, accidents in the universe. Everything happens for a reason. And so everything that happens for a reason, just what's all the things that have been happening last year, they happen for a reason, and and so they are are really a wake up call to show us how far we have gotten off on our path of how we should be, first of all how we should take care of our own self, our own physical health and our and our life, and then how we should treat other people and how and how we how we live on this planet together and how we treat our planet, and we've been so far off as many people understand now on all those ways, right? I mean, we've polluted our planet. We've really got to make some big environmental changes. We're still having wars and killing each other. I mean, how insane is that as far as we've advanced now? And we're still having such poor, we have such poor health in America. People aren't knowing how to take care of themselves and they're not taking care of themselves. So we got these major challenges of relationships, of health and of business. You know, we've allowed great big corporations to take over our government. You know, it's all run by the money. Uh, you know, we, we're far away from democracy. We're still not dealing with racism and all these different issues that we really need. So all these things that are happening, the virus, uh, you know, the racial in, uh, unrest, and even what happened, you know, at, at the Capitol the other day, mm -hmm. all these are symptoms of what's been building up long enough. And so we have to realize that it's not about pointing fingers. Well, those people are bad, they're screwed up. It's all of, we're all involved, right? It, it's, it's, it's the collective consciousness of the whole planet that creates 
uh, the reality that we that we that we live in, you know. <clears throat> so we all have to take responsibility. You know, we're all not doing nearly as well as we could. So there's so many things that we that we need to learn from this, and, and I think that's the first thing is that okay, we need to really say what do we need to learn from all these experiences and not being all unhappy and angry. Why did this happen? No, it happened because we created it and we're part of that. So we need to look at, you know, why is this happening? And so, of course, the virus is the big thing. And so uh, I think hopefully it's going to be a big wake up call to realize that we need to take more responsibility for our individual health and that our what we call a healthcare system is not really a healthcare system it's a disease care system right they, they try and help you if you if, if you get sick but what we really need to do is to you know prevent and we can prevent a lot of these illnesses and all these health challenges and also becoming old and dying way too young by strengthening our immune system and learning really what is a good lifestyle and a life care system that we can all easily create and so that's, I think that's one of the biggest lessons that we need to learn. And, and just, again, the majority of people who have actually really suffered from the, from the virus and have died from it were, the vast majority was, you know, they already had a compromised immune system and they already had some pre-existing conditions, you know. So the point is, those things are always going to be around viruses and things are going to happen. And, and we're going to have a lot more challenges in the future. So it's, it's imperative to take responsibility and learn how we can best take care of our, our, our bodies and our minds in every, in every way. And then the other, th the other thing, before we really get into that, because that's really what we're about, right, you and I, but, <clears throat> and also it's just you know, our whole political system, just like we've had to deal with for the last four years, right? Again, it, it was just a symptom of what's been building all this time. And, and that's why it's something like what, you know, I don't know what, maybe what our listeners' beliefs are, but obviously it's been quite chaotic and quite disruptive and 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 destructive in so many ways, and you know, devising people and creating fear and and lies and making up all these things. So it's it's really gotten to a point where it's it's actually we have to say it's been good. We have to thank that for actually happening. So now maybe we can shift and realize that we're really off base. You know, we're not. We're not treating each other the way we should. We, you know, we're not. We're allowed again. We've allowed our political system to be taken over by big special interest groups and, and big corporations who just all they care about is their bottom line. So we 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 just been off base of how we're taking care of the planet, how we're taking care of our political system, how we're taking care of our health. So all these things, and there's going to be more. We have to look out for more things that are happening that are going to be that we're going to have to deal with and, and they're all I think they're all wake up calls of how we need to really uh, reevaluate what we're doing and how we're acting and, and and that comes down to the individual level as well it has to be it has to be <clears throat> individual exactly and I love that you're always focused on the collective and it starts with the individual but collectively we've created this situation so a couple things I picked up number one we need to pause to reflect we not just buy into what we're seeing and hearing and let it continue to snowball us into a frenzy, but stop and use it as information, right? Everything that's happening can be information. And then with that information, step into a place of more self-responsibility for what we do want to create. And in that, what we do want to create, it causes us to look at what do we need to stop doing how do we need to change our thinking? How do we need to step into more proactivity in these different aspects of our lives? That's what I heard. <laughs> so well said. That's 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 exactly perfect. And you know, the you know one of the challenges is is again our mainstream media still are too focused on all the bad stuff and all the streams and what's going on. And still you keep hearing things, everybody's talking about, oh, and all these uncertain times and all these challenging times. You know, why do they keep saying that? All times are uncertain actually, right? All, time, all times are challenging. And so, but that just keeps people, uh, you know, stressed out and being in fear because they wonder, oh, what's going to happen? You know, instead of, instead of, saying, instead of saying what we're saying here, okay, you know, 
this is what's going on, but here's some mm -hmm. things that we can do that we need to step, everybody needs to contribute and we can solve all these problems. So that's what we're about here, trying to give people some, some, some encouragement and some, uh, some actual tools and things that they can actually do to, that really will make a difference. But also, I mean, mostly it, it's all, it's always comes down to a mindset, doesn't it? No matter what, it's always about what, how we're thinking, what we're feeling, what we're believing is what create our reality. So it's really, it's not that difficult, you know, it's not that difficult at all. We just need to realize that we have the ability. Don't you love the word mindset? It means mindset. I mean, you can set your mind, you know, right. Your mind is not just something that just goes randomly away. Well, our mind pretty much is controlled, you know, by our subconscious mind. But our, uh, I, I'm quite sure, you know, our conscious mind can is can overrule, or, or can overpower or, or, over our subconscious mind. And and con what I've learned too is, you know, consciousness can uh, is actually uh, overcome. Uh, uh, material in the material world too. Conscious, our consciousness rules everything in the universe. So it's all about just raising up our our consciousness and realizing that we're much more powerful than we can even imagine, and that we can make these changes and we can create a much more peaceful and joyful and prosperous and uh, loving world for every all all of humanity. We just now, have to accept that. Absolutely, and I love that. That's what you just shared. And I also know and believe you have, because I'm part of it, you have, uh, will be launching and have spent time and effort and energy and focus to come up with a powerful solution that will help address every aspect of what you just talked about. Do you want to, is this a good time to jump into? Yeah, absolutely, so good. And, and again, thank you for your great contribution as well. So for, you know, for many years, I've had this uh, idea in the back of my mind that uh, any device that we buy, right, whether it's a phone or a computer or a TV or a washing machine, it comes with an operations manual. So you know how, how it works and how, how to take care of it and how to, how to operate it and how to maintain it. But our most important device, which are actually our body is that we're not our body, right? You know, we're a physical being that's that's taken on this physical body for this purpose in this certain lifetime with this physical body. So actually, our body is our a device that we use. So, but our 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 physical body device doesn't come with a operations manual, right? We just here we are, you know. So. And so we're just thrown out there and we get bombarded with all different kinds of stuff, whether it's right stuff or wrong stuff or misinformation, information. So no one really knows, you know, what we should, how we should really, we're not really taught how we should best care for our body and our mind. And there's, and there's, and then there's, there's an overwhelming amount of information out there about this, right? <clears throat> but it's, 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 it's fragmented and it's all over the place. And some, obviously a lot of it's misinformation. A lot of it is just, people putting stuff out there because they want to sell you a product and there's just so much stuff out there so it's i can see you know it's it's very hard not to be confused about really what is the best way to take care of your body and your mind so you can be as healthy and energetic and live a long longer productive life so i i realize what we need is an operations manual for the human body and the mind so i decided okay this is time to do this now you know this is the time to do that so and it's just been amazing because I've been able to, to contact, and so like I say, and you're one of them, these amazing experts on wellness and self-care that, and, and these people are all people that I trust and I know that they really have the best interests of their clients and, and, and your health in, in, in mind. They're all like heart-centered entrepreneurs who really care about you know what they're offered and, and trying to give you the very best thing that they know that will actually work. So I've done all these, I've done like 75 interviews of all, of all different categories of how to take care of all of your body parts and how to take care, how to do mind things and, and nutrition and exercise and sleep and just all the things that we really need to create optimal health and, and functionality. And it's just been amazing. You know, we, we did 30 minute short interviews that are right to the point that will give you really their strategies and tips that they know will actually work if you just implement them right. and we try to make it we try to make it to us where it's things that 
we know everybody's busy, right? And that's the biggest excuse. Well, I don't know if I can do this and all that. But so these are all things that are really pretty basic and, and they're easy, the things that you can easily begin to incorporate into your busy schedule. And, they, and, and they're gonna work, they're gonna give you really good results. You just have to take action on that. And, I, and so, so the whole program we came up with is it's called the Aceless Body Self-Care Guide. And we're gonna introduce it uh, starting on January 19th as a summit where people can go online, they can register and go online. And for seven days, you can watch all these, any of these, uh, these 75 videos. Love it. But of Love course, it. we know that most people are so busy, you know, they don't have time to watch too many videos. And, uh, and so what we've done, we've also put together a whole package that people can actually invest in for a very, really reasonable price. It is. So, you, so, so you get all this information, I mean, really the right great information that you need yeah. to develop your own personal wellness program. And so, uh, for just you know, for for a very small fee, you can you you have lifetime access to all these videos, and you can watch them <clears throat> anytime you want. And then in addition, you can download an audio where you can listen to it if you like to listen to things. <clears throat> and then it comes with a PDF for each topic, each each episode, which has a transcript so you can read it. And then I actually did a summary myself of what we talked about with each expert, and and, and kind of highlighted the, the top tips and, and strategies that what I thought were really important. So it comes with a summary. So even if you think you're too busy to even read it, you can just read my one page little summary here and you'll, so you'll get so the, you'll really get the of what you can I, do. I looked at what you did for my interview at, and you're right, it has the transcript, the, the key points. And I love it because people can digest it in whatever way they want, number one. They, they'll have access to it forever. And it's something that you come back to I know for me, I have books and I, and they've been so valuable. I come back to them every so often. And every time I do, I learn something new or something I previously read and knew, I learn it in a deeper way. And I know all these messages, we, it, it's one of those things we need to continue to put ourselves in that energy. And so being in the energy of longevity, of healthy aging, of wellness is is so important, like you said, going back to the beginning, it's so important for us to now step into that, just take it to that next level of self-responsibility for our own health and well-being, body, mind, and spirit. And I know what you're launching is going to absolutely do that. So I will have a link in my, um, this will be posted in a couple places, wherever it's posted, I will have a link for people to sign up to get access to the videos as you, um, pointed out they can have seven day access. And then um, uh, if they're feeling inspired to really um, have that invest, make that investment to get the, the, the what did you call it again? The, um, the book, what's the book called? The uh, guidebook, right? To have that, that mm -hmm. um, I, I highly, highly recommend it. So um, I know Rico, you have put a Eight. <laughs> oh gosh! I have, I have, I could just look at my email stream just to me from our in, in interaction, and I am blown away. First and foremost, kudos to you for having interviewed seventy plus experts. Um, a lot of summits I've seen, there's twenty five, thirty, and even that is huge. You've taken time, and to me, what this says is this has been this this project and has been a big calling for you. Would you frame it that way for yourself? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I've always, uh, I, I think that the best thing I, what I've really learned too is, is that, you know, I've created a lot of things and, and through the years, but I, I, you know, I just created it and I, I really didn't take the effort to really see, see if I could really get it out to people, you know, really, really doing any kind of a sustainable marketing or, or even really learn you know, best how I could actually get it out. Because again, it doesn't matter what information you have available. If people don't have access to it, it's not going to be much good. So, so this time I, I really felt like it's time for me to really make, you know, I, cause I, I know that I've, you know, I've gained a lot of information and experience all these years. And I, I have, and again, I, I know so many people that are doing just like yourself, doing some great things. And, and I know that we need to get this information out there so I just committed. I said, okay, this time I'm going to just focus on this. 
I'm just going to do everything I possibly can to make this the very best I could possibly make it. And I'm going to, I'm committed to make, get it to market it and to get it out to people so we can really make a difference in the world. So yeah, once, and, and what I realized, you know, once that you make that commitment, things just start to fall into place. I mean, this thing just kind of blew up. You know, I, I started with a few people that I knew personally, and then I said, well, okay, I'm going to get somebody in this category. And at first it was kind of going, but then it just started, other people referred me to people, and then it just started going. And then I had no idea it was going to be this big either, right? But then I started thinking, oh, well, this is something that's really important we should get to people to know about. And it just kept going and going. And so I, just, I thought it's almost like I couldn't stop it. You know, there's just so many good things that I want to get people to learn about. And, and, and I know it can make a really big difference. So it just became a, quite an amazing thing. And, and, but I think the message is really when you really listen to what you, what you inside of yourself, what's going to tell you what you, what you are capable of doing and what you, what you could be doing and what you could be offering. And when you commit to that, and just go for it. It, it. Things just open up and it happens, you know? I 100% agree. <clears throat> and I love that this is such a, a beautiful example. Um, regardless of your age, regardless of what you've accomplished or haven't accomplished in the past, when you take the time to connect in and say yes to it um, and go in wholeheartedly, which you absolutely have, it, it does take on a life of its own. So- yes. How has your life changed <laughs> since you said yes to this project, to this calling? What what have you noticed? Well, again, I just you know I, I'm energized every day. You know it, that you know that that's such an important thing too with aging. When it goes with aging, you know I think the reason that people do become old and sick and die so young because they just really they aren't living their purpose and they don't they're not really feeling a value or are really doing something that they feel is making a contribution so when you as you said you know when you just fully jump into it and, and go for it it not only energizes you but it just it keeps you just uh i mean i just every day i'm just excited and i'm, I'm grateful i'm so I'm, I'm feeling so grateful that for all the people that i got to meet and, and connect with and and how this project is coming about so i've just been so i just been and I, and also for me it's realized that it's really it's, it really is about focus if you just really put your attention on what you're doing and let go of all the distractions and there's as you know there's so many these days okay. that's the big, biggest problem we have right is okay. distractions Right. So I've pretty much done that. You know, I don't have a TV, uh, okay. you know, I don't, well, you know, I have a few little things, but pretty much I've, I've, I'm just really focused on this and it's been energizing and it just made me feel so good and so, so grateful as well. I'm going to put you on hold one second. I'm going to stop the recording um, because I need to take care of my dog real quick. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your answer. That was, that was awesome. And hopefully a lot of people, uh, are inspired to hear that when you do say yes, you are more excited for your life. You're more excited for your day. You look forward to stepping into your day. Um, so thank you for sharing that, Rico. So I want to shift gears a little bit. That's all the happy, fuzzy stuff about the, the positive things you're experiencing. I suspect you've had some challenges along the way. So <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What were some of the biggest challenges? And, and most importantly is what did you do with your mindset or, or you know, in some of that inner work to help you move through those challenges to, to get to the point where you are today in launching this amazing, amazing project? Well, yeah, it, again, it comes back to mindset, you know, to, to our mindset. And what I've always learned and been teaching people is that we're, we're all kind of negative things are always going to come up, right? And it's, and other people will, will put, put them on you, and, but just your own thoughts. You know what I like, I like to say, you know, we hear so much about all this fake news, you know, but, but the real fake news that we have to be watch out for is our own mind chatter, our own mo stories that are going on in our own mind is that this is not going to work or, oh, I don't know, I, I don't think I can do this or it's not working out and nobody cares, you know, all that kind of stuff will just really put you out of business. So what you have to do, as soon as you just got to be aware of anytime you start to get any kind of negative thought about what you're doing, you got to just stop, you know, and just pause and, and delete it, you know, because it's, you know, it's not serving you. And you got to go back to, to thinking about 
why am I doing this? You know, what's the end game? You know, how is this really going to benefit everybody involved? And you got to keep focusing on on the positive thing that you know what you're creating, and you, you just can't let any kind of a limiting or negative belief hold you back. And they're always going to come. You know, sometimes you'll be here and just going, oh gee, you know, or you know, technology. You have a problem with technology screwing up, and I'm going oh shit you know, am i going to be able to really work get, get all this stuff together and do it and you just have to go up just delete that and go back to staying focused on what you know that you're doing and wow. the benefits of everybody involved yeah, yeah. so it, so it sounds like definitely you're in a place when you went for you specifically and i really want to like uh share your your how you went through this it sounds like when you had your chatter or you had the the um different obstacles come up you were able to catch and hear your self-talk and and you then consciously shifted to no i can get i can work through this i'm doing this for a higher purpose or a, a you know a exactly connected reason and you talked yourself through the mindset shift is that what exactly exactly Good. That's Good. exactly right. Yeah, I'd love to give if there's any particular practice or um, technique. Um, I'm always open to sharing that with the listeners too. Yeah. I think what I might add to that, you know, no matter what your challenge is, if if you can always, if you if you know if you, if you are if you are working on some kind of a project or whatever it is, or you're trying to accomplish, or or you know how you want to relate or live in any way. When you're when you're really clear, it's all about clarity on really why you're doing something, you know. So I think it's real important, and, and we have some of this, you know, as as part of our program. You know, there's people who, who talk about this too. You have to set a your goals have to be tied to what's truly important in your life. It's not like like losing weight is a really bad goal because it's something like it's like some chore we have to try and do and we don't even want to do it that's not the that's not a goal that's just something you have to do to achieve your real goal and so in that case your real goal probably is to be healthy and a good role model for your family maybe so same thing so when you're real clear on why you're doing it and why you need to do that and why you truly want to do that then no matter what comes up you know then you can just dismiss that and go back and keep focusing on that on the true reason why you want and need and why you're going to make this happen. I love that. Go back to the why. Make sure it's really connected from the from that heart center. <laughs> inner, exactly. Inner exactly. I love it. It's that is powerful. Beautiful. So I want um, one more question I have and then I know we're going to circle back to some some points uh, about the project or about what's launching is I'd love to hear from you if you have any advice for those out there that have heard a calling, they're maybe connected to it to uh, some degree, but they have yet to start pursuing it. Um, what would you, what advice would you give to them? Well, I think it all comes down, you know, there's basically only, only real two emotions that we have. It's love and fear, right? Mm -hmm. everything, everything you can trace back to those two things. So, if, if, if we if we have this feeling or intuition or calling or something that we, we we kind of think that this is what it's about and what we should be doing but what's holding us back is some sort of a fear type thing you know whether uh, maybe it's not the right thing or maybe i won't be successful or whatever thoughts you can come up with to hold yourself back that's all fear-based any any kind of negative thought that we have or emotion is really based on fear mm -hmm. and what we have to realize fear is just it's just an absence of, of what we would call love you know being in our natural state our natural state is to be you know aware and energetic and loving and ex excited just like young kids little babies they're born into the world they're all just all happy and smiling learning looking running moving and it's all this other then start negativity starts to come in and slows us down right so our natural state is to be optimistic and excited and energetic and that's what we're here for so you got to keep that in mind and realize that if something if you're not really living what you know you you want to or what your calling is you just got to step out of your fear and fear is just something that is primarily made up in your own mind and you can let that go and when you do step into what's something that's really challenging for you when you step into it you know fear 
it dissipates when you when you get it close to it. But yeah. when you try you try and move away from it, it gets bigger and it follows you. So it's just a matter of saying, okay, this is fear based. I don't want to be in fear. I want to be in love, and I want to be in creativity, and I want to be in joy. So whatever you're fearing, just face up to the fear, just jump right in and you'll see that the fear dissipates. Great point. Thank you, Rico, for sharing that. I love it. So let's transition back to what you're launching and um, any kind of closing thoughts that you would like to share to help people move forward. Well, I mean, that's a perfect segue because just what we just mentioned was, you know, so I, again, I, I think the, the biggest, one of the biggest challenges that we have is humanity is lack of expectations of what's possible in our life. And there's so many things that have that, that, that come into that factor into that, that why it happens. But, but we, you just have to believe because obviously there's some people who are doing amazing, great things, right? And, and so the tendency is trying to think, well, they can do it or maybe they had some luck or, or they're better genes and all that stuff. That's all nonsense, it's not true. We all are, are, are given the opportunity to do great things. And to do and to, and to do amazing things, and we're again, we all we all are powerful. It's only our own self that is holding us back, you know. So, 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 the reason that I think I don't think anybody when they hear about the operations manual for the human body, that sounds really good because everybody I talk to, they go, "Whoa, that sounds really cool." Yeah, that sounds like I wish I had that, you know. But, but what holds people back from actually? doing it and, and getting the information and actually implement it because they probably feel like, well, I'm probably not going to do it or it's not going to work for me. And so again, you just have to realize that it's just your, your thought, your negative fear of thoughts that are holding you back and that you can do this and you can live a much more healthier, energetic and vibrant life and live a much longer life. Our genetic potential now is known to be at least 125. That's to stay healthy to 125 at least I love so that. so we know that and there's, there's people that are doing it mm -hmm. so we know that this is possible so so that's why we, pre we prepared this guide that, that gives you the guide so that you are able to uh, uh, get the what the right information and begin to implement it so you can stay healthy and energetic and 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 live your purpose and make a big a, a bigger difference in the world and, and that's what, again that's the end game yes we all want to be as healthy and as energetic and successful and have a fun life and all that. But it's, it's more than that. You know, we're here to, to help everybody raise up their concert and their life. So we're here to create something and, and to help other people and to serve. So, so that's really why you want to do this. You know, why you want to get this information and, and implement it and create your own personal lifetime wellness system. So not only so you can stay healthy and for your family can stay healthy, but you can actually help to create the world that we all want. I mean, no one's going to argue that we all would like to have peace and that everybody can get along and everybody is prosperous and yeah. and we can and, and we can have a much more amazing, beautiful, creative life and, and create so many more things that, that can be amazing. But all these negative thoughts and things are still holding us back and so we need you we need you to step up and be your healthiest best self so you can use your particular unique gifts and and uh talents to go out and make it a better world for, for us all and we can do this it's just a matter when enough people realize this and take responsibility and step up and do it we can create uh, a much more enjoyable, healthy, wonderful world to live in. So that, that's really what it's all about. Beautiful. I wholeheartedly agree. Let's face our fears. Let's listen to our calling. Let's take responsibility. And, and by taking care of ourselves, we have, it's that ripple effect. And we can raise the health, well-being, happiness, wholeness, success of the whole universe when we start by doing that within ourselves. And um, your, your operations manual is definitely something that can help each individual to do that. And collectively, we can change the world. So absolutely. I love it, Rico. <laughs> I'm so excited to get so happy to see, to see this um, heart-centered calling of yours come to life. I, I couldn't be more grateful to be part of it and, and happy for you to um, have said yes and for you to continue to say yes. 
So thank you for sharing your message today. Thank you for bring, bringing your radiance because men are radiant too. And uh, for having that ongoing positive impact that you are in the world. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me. And thank you for all that you do as well. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Okay, everybody, <laughs> that's it for today. I'll see you real soon.